chapter 1 of, of the book of Philippians. This book is written by St. Paul, as I've said. We all know Paul, where he's coming from. He used not to be in the group called Christians, but he was following the religion that Jesus came to meet. But we know when Jesus came, some people also were following Christ. And they were described as Christians. Paul was even persecuting those people, but later he also met the light, and he, there was a turn around, and he came to join the people who were persecuted. He was persecuted. You see, they were then he met the way of God. How God turned him around to come and follow and to do his will. So he wrote this book. Paul and Timothy, both servants of Jesus Christ. To all the same in Christ Jesus, who are in Philippi, with the bishops and the deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So here, Paul is writing this letter to all Christians in Philippi and in Christians. Verse 3 I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, Christians in Philippi, always in my prayer. Of my making request for you all in joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day on Corona, being confident of the very end that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. Just as it is right for me to take this of you all, because I have you in my heart. In as much as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are my tickets to me of grace. For God is my witness. How greatly I love for you all with the affection or the affection of Jesus Christ. Paul says that he is grateful to God for the Christian in Philippa and is always remembering them in his prayers. And what clear and he points out. Says that he is confident that God will listen to the prayer because he is a God when he begins something, he takes it to the heaven. And it's very important to can mind that portion that we are serving a God who, when he begins something, he takes it to the end. It's very important as we begin to use under the will of God. That is one of the lessons we will discover. That how do I know this is God's will? How do I pursue God's will? When, I, when God begins something, one of his character is that he takes it to an end. And so, for me to walk in God's way, I am supposed to begin and take it to an end. I don't get to a situation or a point in time when I say, because of the challenges and the pressure I am meeting, I will abbreviate it or stop it or avoid that mission. But I want you to know, as well, 